the game. Tim Worrell on the mound for the Pods. The work he did with the San Diego Padres. And Brett Boone says, coming around asking about peace out. Boone drills Later the for field. you. Brett's it's first, home, first home run of the year. Reds up one zip. Then Boone gets a little defensive about things. Ken Caminetti hits the grounder off John Smiley's glove, but Boone charges a moment of trepidation for a second. Bare hands it and guns down the MVP. Caminetti up again in the fourth. The grounder to Boone who turns the sweep. Boom. Six. Trade double play. John Smiley getting plenty of help from Boone and company. Reds win at 5-2. Smiley matches a career high with 11 Ks, and he ups his all-time mark against the Padres to 7-1 including 5-0 and in San Diego. The win was just the fifth in 13 games for the Reds, who dropped the defending NL West champion Padres to their 15th loss in 19 games. Two on, Griff, oh yeah! Big league best 15th jack this year. He had four RBI in the night, 39 for the season. Let's see, I think, uh, all right, that's one more all-star vote for Junior. <laughs> Jay Buhner did not play like an all-star. He struck out once, you twice. You three times a strikeout. Actually, it was four. Tough night for Jay. Arthur Rhodes, the lefty facing Joey Cora. Cora, 545 career at bats as a righty without a home run. Cora busts out the whooping stick. Oh, man. The streak is over. This is Cora just went yard. First career homer against the lefty. I got to get Rich back. Hey, Lou, ready? Camera three. Take three. Mariners win it, 8-2. Hey, you took two of mine, I gotta take we two of yours. Hosting the Strohs on Friday, Kevin Brown with Craig Biggio on first, Jeff Bagwell at the plate. Biggio taking off for second, Greg Zahn's throw. Yikes, and away. Biggio goes to 30, he'd later score on a single by Luis Gonzalez. Kevin Brown would settle down, Bobby Abreu swinging. Derek Bell swinging. Brown, seven innings, ten strikeouts. Bottom of the second, the bases loaded with fish. Sack fish on fish on the pond. And Kevin Brown at the plate. A broken bat infield single. Moise Salou scores. Game tied at one. That's what Brown's got to do to get himself some offense. We're tied at two in the bottom of the ninth. Jose Lima to Alex Arias through BGO's wickets. Next batter, Ralph Miller trying to bunt him over. Late inning replacement at third. Tim Bogart boots it. Jim Eisenreich walked intentionally to face the struggling Gary Sheffield. And that's over Bogart's head. Arias comes in to score, and the Marlins win 3-2. to two. Sid Larry Durker of his Houston defense. The Gary Gaetti. Did he get it? Did Gaetti get it? Yeah, he got the yellow off the top of the fence. They call it a double. The fans are trying to make the call out there. Where's Jeffrey Mayer's pen pal when you need him? Tony La Russa, sorry, it's a double, no home run, so we're still tied at three in the top of the seventh. Well Butch Husky, right no center. yellow line involved in this one. This one's and just flat out gone. Fifth of the year, four, three minutes. Husky it's six, three Mets in the eighth. Runners on first, runner on first, one out. Ron Gant to center field. Ray Ordonez. A diving grab worth a second look. And on the second look, he still he makes the catch. He caught it again? Mets go on a win, 10-3, to three, amazing. Coming into the game with a buck 83 average. Bam, bases loaded, one out, trying to protect a 3-1 lead. Jeff King grounds to Charlie Hayes. You saw Hayes step on third for the second out. His throw to first gets by Tino Martinez. One run already in. Jay Bell trying to score all the way from first. Gets caught up in a rundown at third. But Dale Fourth, the ump, called him out. Why? What is up with that? Bob Boone wants an explanation. Nobody knows who's up, Cecil or Chili. Richie Garcia, of all people, Jeffrey Mayer's best friend, overrules Ford and sends Bell back to third. Rogers can't believe it. Watch again. Jose Offerman leaving the picture. Dale Ford got confused and thought Bell passed Offerman, but Offerman was already out. So, still in the sixth next batter, Chili Davis. Singles by Mariano Duncan. Bell and King score. Game tied. Yankees play the game under protest. Bottom seven, Derek Jeter. Oh, my goodness. For real, though. No, he didn't, y'all. Two-run homer. Jeter's fourth. He's hitting 305. Yankees up 5-3. Top eight, Jeff King rides Jeff Nelson out. His fifth of the year to tie the game at five. Bottom ten, Yankees have the bases loaded. One out, but Hippolito Pachardo treating the Yankees like dogs. Wade Ball, stay, sit. Two out for Joe Girardi, stay, lie down. Boggs and Girardi, a combined one for eight. Hey, why throw the bat? He didn't do a top 12 man on second. Jose Offerman grounds to short. Jeter's throw, just a bit outside. Gets by Tino, goes into the stands. Tim Spears scores. Jeter, yes, he got his fourth home run. He also had his fourth error. Royals going to win at 7-5, only in the boogie down. Great win. 
Mark McGuire, top two. McGuire called strike three. Not happy with the call. Not happy about an 0 for 5 night. Not happy about a 7 for 35 slump. Home plate umpire Larry Barnett says, look, I'm not a therapist. I don't really care. Ariel Prieto facing Ray Durham. Durham takes a strike three call. Barnett says, look, you guys want to lay down on a couch, tell me about your troubles, pay me 100 bucks an hour. I'm telling you, I don't really care. Don't bring your troubles to me. Bottom five, one's in Oakland, Tony Phillips, up the alley and left center. Damon Mayshore, great grab, fat catch, making up for an 0 for 4 night at the plate. Bottom 10, tied at 2, two outs for Dave Martinez, runners at first and second. Aaron Smalls pitches, pull to right. Jose Canseco with the throw home to get Norbeto Martirin. Nah. White Sox win it 3 2 in 10 innings. Roberto Hernandez gets to Burks, the chopper. Scott Rowland, nice dive. Rico Bronya with the nice scoop at first, right there, scoreless through three. Rico also bringing in the noise at the plate. Fourth inning, runners at the corners, uncorks his 14th double of the year. Rowland and Mike Lieberthal score. Phillies up two zip. Rocky's also showing some nice defense. Mickey Morandini with the blooper. Larry Walker says, <laughs> I don't think so. Did I mention Walker's NL best for 16 batting average? He's also best in the NL on Rockin' Iron. A senior circuit best 13th over of the year. Cuts the lead to 3-1. Ninth inning, same score. Ricky Batalico tries to nail it down against Jeff Reed. Batalico gets the strikeout to end it. He struck out the side for a seventh save. Phillies win it 3-1. Last time Maduro faced Colorado as they came through the aisle. Francisco Cordova walks the first two, then strikes out Chipper and Jason Kendall guns Kenny Lofton. Top second, Ryan Klesko. On second, Jeff Blauser up the middle. Jermaine Allensworth comes up thrown with the perfect strike to Jason Kendall, who tags out the barreling Klesko, who was at second. As I said, Cordova got out of trouble again. Bottom two, one out, no score. Kevin Young on second, Jason Kendall right through the legs of Chipper Jones. Klesko. Hey, Mo! Hey, Larry! Young scores. Kendall goes to third. Pirates up one zip. Bottom four, three zip Pirates. Jose Guillen, I refugee from Guantanamo Bay, dance around the bases like I'm Cassius Clay. Fourth homer and 12th RBI this year, Pirates up five zip. Bottom five, oh, that Braves defense, huh? Kevin Young off the shin of Terrell Wade. The ball rolls toward the Pirate dugout. Javi Lopez gets to it, throws wildly to second. Then the Keystone Cop showed up. Then Young went to third. Then he'd score in a sack fly. And the Pirates scored six unearned runs. And they.